you have an auxiliary table on the drill press like I have here, uh, it makes it difficult because you've got to swing around over here, reach down and grab the clamp, twist it, position the table where you want it, then tighten the clamp. Uh, and again, the video yesterday that I did earlier uh, pertain to the motor here that raises and lowers this table. Well, Beamer, I wish I could take credit for this um, idea here, uh, full credit. Uh, Beamer suggested the idea of having a some kind of a function where you wouldn't have to go run around and twist that little um, bolt thing that I showed you earlier. And that's when I spawned this idea almost immediately. And Roger, another guy on there, suggested having a socket welded to a uh, some kind of a, a breaker bar or a ratchet or something like that that you could use. But the problem is you would have to continually crank it back and forth. And the ratchet idea wasn't awful bad. However, um, it would uh, the weight of it would uh, tend to send it you know um, away from the uh, turning of the bolt so I thought of this and what it consists of is a piece of all thread that goes through the collar and here's the threaded part over here and then there's a piece of EMT electrical tubing that's the idea the idea shit the ID of the EMT tubing is larger than the diameter of the, the all thread and then over here <clears throat> there are two or two nuts uh, they're tightened together and then this piece of oak is uh, chiseled out to accept a captured nut in this case and then a nut and a washer on this side to uh, pinch the uh, lever to the mechanism there and then over here in the front basically it's a the stick goes from the back yonder over this way and it's got a little notch there and a little extension and a little thing here for your finger to grab on to and basically as you can see I can the table moves freely I reach down I can push it down that far and the table is locked I just reach down and grab it and the table is now free again. So it took me, I don't know, um, it took me a while to chisel out the nut uh, for the captured nut more than it did anything else. And also, the, it's kind of finicky. You can let a, uh, This is a two inch piece of EMT tubing here. The, the problem is you got to adjust it just right and tighten it just enough so that the table's loose and then hold, drill your hole in the board and then slide it up to where it's, you know, tight up above, you know, at the bottom of your front of the table there. Push the board in and then reach back here with a pencil and mark where that nut is. Um, and then go and chisel it out. Obviously, you're going to drill the hole first, you know, to go over the all thread. But that would allow you to bump it up to the nut where you can mark it out. And, I don't know, it probably took me... Well, a little bit over an hour to tinker with this, but it works fine. Uh, the table with this, with the bar up, the table still moves up and down like it's supposed to, and all I have to do is just push it, and it's hardly a quarter of a turn, and it's locked tighter than a drum. Well, there you go, and uh, thanks, Beamer, for the idea, and Roger for the extended idea. And anybody else who wants to make it, you know, have at it. If anybody, and you know, makes it down the road on a Oh, manufacturer and steal the idea from me? Well, we'd have to deal with that later. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye.